No matter how big or powerful a train seems, there's something gentle and happy about that little red caboose that brings up the rear. An engine roars, or the caboose just seems to tag along for the ride. Actually, the caboose is the train's rolling office. Here, the conductor takes care of all the paperwork involved in running the train. But back in the old days, at least 15 years ago, the caboose wasn't just an office. It was the conductor's home away from home. That's what H.E. Baker told me. They're on the back of the rear of the train, so you can hold the train on the track. The conductor and flagman got to ride back there and hold the train in line. Yeah, we wore red, red uh, band bandanas around our neck and strapping caps mostly. And overalls and jumpers back in those days. Did you used to cook? Yeah, we used to cook and eat on there. I've cooked a lot of times on there when I'd be hungry. Get out and cook for breakfast, right? About breakfast time. And have a good breakfast, crawl back up the cupola, and ride the boy. What was so special about the steam trains? Well, it seemed like they just put music in railroad. And uh, since we got the days, it seemed like it took the music out of railroad. The world has changed, the railroads have changed, but there's still something fascinating about the little red caboose at the end of the train. This is the Tennessee Traveler, Andy Johnston.